However, the feature set and like the foundation of the product does seem very good. Definitely something worth having on your radar and something that like maybe you want to start exploring yourself, but it's 100% on my radar. The feature set they have is good. And especially as they release new updates and future updates, definitely something worth exploring. Next up, OF Auto Follower. This is a follow and follow tool for OnlyFans. It allows you to target your expired fans on OnlyFans. So when someone doesn't renew their subscription, you can actually go and follow them and they will get a notification from you. Super Creator does also offer this feature, in fact, and so do a few other tools now. It seems to be getting quite popular. But the one thing that OF Auto Follower has and the main reason that I use this tool is they have a feature that tries to target new users on OnlyFans and it will go and follow them and they'll get a notification from you. So it's a way of, of literally doing follow unfollow, but there's no need to unfollow on OnlyFans. So they will go out and follow new users for you. New people who have joined OnlyFans will receive a notification from you. That is what they try to do. The reason I say try is because it's not 100% successful. Often it will follow other creators. It can follow other females, but all in all, it's a pretty good tool. There's hard limits of about 100 follows per day on OnlyFans. There used to be workarounds for that where we could do like a, a few thousand per day and that was really good. Unfortunately, that's not the case anymore, but you can follow like a few thousand per month. And the one thing that is really good is anyone that you follow, you can actually add them to a list and it gives you the ability to start sending pay-per-view content to those people, even if they've never engaged with you in the past. So that is like a big plus. Okay, now getting into the more, more interesting stuff. These are the tools that I will use on like a very frequent basis. Postpone is a Reddit scheduling tool specifically made for OnlyFans creators. I'm an active customer. Dashboard is good. Just in general, very well thought out as a lot of these products are, by the way, a lot of these tools are built specifically for OnlyFans creators. And I feel that they're made by people who have actually worked in the industry and actually understand the problems that people face on a day to day basis. Um, so it just solves most of the problems that you deal with when working with Reddit. It allows you to repost top performing content. It deletes low performing posts. It also offers like some automation, some basic automations and so on. Generally just a really easy way to do like mass scheduling of Reddit content. So we're worth looking at hundred percent. Next up is Snaptic. Um, quite a basic tool to be honest and very well known at this point actually, but it's still a very common question that I actually get on not quite a daily basis, but definitely multiple times per week is what is the best way of downloading TikTok content without a watermark. I would say like the go-to tool is probably SnapTick. There are multiple ways that you can do it. If you wanted to download bulk content, I would suggest you build out a type of scraper and maybe like an API integration. Uh, but if you're just looking at downloading like a couple of TikToks per day, SnapTick is completely free to use. It will download the TikToks in HD without a watermark. So yeah, great tool again. Now getting into some more interesting tools, let's talk about Fans Metric. Fans Metric provides OnlyFans analytics. Most people in the OnlyFans game haven't got a clue about their analytics. If you ask someone what their average order value is or what their average lifetime value is, which are arguably two of the most important metrics in a subscription business, and OnlyFans is a subscription business, assuming that you're running a paid page, and most people simply just don't know this information. So you need to know the core metrics of your OnlyFans account in order to make good decisions in marketing. So you just plug in your OnlyFans account to fans metrics. They will handle analysis and give you that data as well as making like cohorts and segments of your different customers as well. Really good tool, particularly for those of you who have no idea about, about the analytics of your OnlyFans profile. It's like a no brainer to do this. 